with a square like that, it's probably better. Cause then you got four sides, you know what I mean? Like. I'm doing a, a live video right now. I'm grafting a, they call it beet sugar apple. It's a, the rare one. I just, I just sold my big tree. Got rid of my big tree. Yeah. But that's it there. It looks a lot like a sugar apple, but it's rare. The leaves look a lot better, huh? Yeah. So I'm going to try to graft these up and have some backups. But now that my tr my tree's gone, I ain't got but one left. But they, they, they sell for pretty good. They're hard to keep happy. stocks we got here I probably can set set you up over here Let's see about this got temporary oh that's good we got one we we'll always start with the biggest so sort them now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right there's ten now we're gonna do a timed trials here and see how fast we can do this this one's got to be trimmed out of this pot the roots are too much too big i hope i can get that out it's got like a knot in it. almost like i have to cut the pot Okay, let's clean off of our pruning shears. I've got the alcohol behind here, so I have to find something else. Man, I could probably just sit you down there. All right, pruning shears, clean them off a little bit. Boom. Okay, alcohol on the blade. I'm a little couple steps ahead of myself because I got to wrap up these scions too. But that's all right, we're going to let that dry, dry, air dry. Dry off, all right, and let's get to wrapping up these cuttings here. We need 10. No more than I have. Okay. Dang, I just had the tape on the right way and I flipped it the wrong way. So let's start off with the biggest, brightest. Tell me how long this takes because I'm going as fast as I can. Probably using a scion that's too big. Sometimes it's better just to use less wood less chance for rot and bacteria or less chance for it to get bumped around sometimes less less is more when you're grafting and i think in the case of these anonas that's the case because they're going to rot or they'll get damaged if you take a scion that's too big this is a more appropriate size scion but we're just going to graft them anyway it doesn't matter i'm just doing what i'm doing and i'm doing it as fast as i can i want to be quick I, I got other stuff i need to be doing but if I can get five of these to take, that could be almost a thousand dollars or more. Who knows what? That's good money. That's better than growing 10 acres of tomatoes, if you ask me. I'd rather take my chances on them five to ten and on the sales mania eyes. But let's get them wrapped up, man. You're working a little too slow to be on my clock. Look at this, man. You gotta just hustle, hustle, hustle. Turn it up a notch, turn it up a notch. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Let's see it. Let's see some magic, man. Let's see how fast you can fast forward. Go as fast as you can. It's not quality, it's quantity. It's actually the other way around. You don't want to rush, but 
I want to see good clean graphs and record time. And then that way, you can make it to the semifinals. You get a chance to go against the big guys in California. And then you end up at the World Championship in Taiwan. Oh, shit. See, when you got hands like that, you're never going to beat the best. And there's these guys out there in Brazil, Taiwan. They, they'll take you down. I've seen videos on uh, on Facebook of, like, some guy that was like, bah, 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 bah. You couldn't, you can't graph faster than him. He's done so many more than me. I remember he, that's where I learned this trick from is from some guy I saw in a YouTube video. He was just like, he had nothing to lose, man. He was just fast forward the whole time. I need him on my farm. But you can't always get what you want. want. But if you graph sometimes, one, two, three, four, I'm going to be short. I'm going to cut this one in half. Look at this. We're going to cut this in half. You missed just my get what you need. Ew, you got to cap it off where you cut it off. You got to cap that off so it doesn't leak into it. Just give it a little cap. Some of these scions are iffy looking. All right, let's see. One, two, three. Got to sort them by size. That helps a lot. Lay them out by size. Okay, one, one, two, three, four, five. I'm one short. I got one in my hand. We'll do it that way. Maybe I'll be able to cut one of these in half. I think that's the smart thing to do is take this one, cut it right here. I got one there. And I can cap this off. A little trouble on my cap. Cool. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's get to cutting. Big boy first. Take off anything low. You probably could leave a couple low on there. We're not gonna. I'm gonna run a pattern like... Uh, that off. Get your biggest sound on right there. Cut this back. Cut this back. I think we're just going to run it in there like that. Go big or go home, huh? Isn't that what they say, you guys? Some of this wood looks iffy, like it's been compromised. But sometimes this is how they look. I'm just trimming up a little higher. Just, I think I remember seeing the same thing going on before with these pieces of wood. But they kind of look like they're rotted, but they're not. If it takes, it takes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Ugh. Hold there for a second. cold it's gonna be cold tonight it's gonna be a cold one. you don't want to wrap these too tight the wood's soft i'm gonna have to repot that but let's see if i can get you in a little closer for the next grab let's go for the next biggest ones this one cut it down to a stump Take off any of the suckers. Get you a nice big scion. Put it. Not right down the middle, down the side. Like that. It's off by a little bit. You see there's one side fatter, one side smaller. 
that's going to compensate for the smaller size scion now we're going to take this scion run a long cut oh it looks brown as shit I, I don't even think this one's viable it's really not nah that one's garbage i'm going to clean my knife off right now clean off my knife let that sit for a second and then re 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 uh readjust my game plan here guys that sign was gunner. I think this one's good. Let's see. I'm going to have to make a different cut. Questionable, but we'll still use it. We're going along with a different game plan. We're going to have to cut this down a little lower. And then just try to slip it in over here and see if we can get a connect. Just like that. But that's what it ended up being like instead. Just kind of slide it over to one side. Kind of, if it takes, it takes. If not, oh well, we tried, didn't we? These, these uh, Anona Montanas will come back real nice when you cut them to the ground. They keep coming back. Hard to kill these rootstocks, so they're real strong. I'm not worried about killing these rootstocks. They don't really mean much to me. It's really a trash fruit, if you ask me, the rootstock, the Montana. It's just not worth growing. Not this variety, but I heard there's a good one out there. That's pretty good. We'll just pray for that one. All right, on to the next one. You know, I'm tempted to use a smaller rootstock just in case I'm running out of scions. All I have is bad scions. Let's try this little guy on here and see what happens. First, let's cut this and see if it's brown. Kind of brown. Looks interesting. They get like a brownish color, but yeah. Almost like I'm afraid to use this scion, but we'll use it anyway. I've seen where they just have that color where it's just not green. It's just slightly brown. We'll see. Hey, you want that trash back in that barrel or leave it in that bucket? You could leave it in that bucket. Mm -hmm. I want to do a dump run, actually. I might just pay Jeremy to take some stuff. Man, this looks like shit. I'm trying to graft, and these scions look like shit. What are these? Uh, those are Anona Montana. I'm doing a live stream, by the way. They're, they're Anona Montana. See, and when you cut them like this, bro, the inside should look green. Like, this is healthy green. Mm -hmm. That color there. Yeah, see cool. that there? No brown, really. But maybe there is some brown. Let's see. No, I don't see a lot of brown. I'm just seeing green. But on this, we're getting this little bit of brown in there. But I don't know. It may still be good because some trees just have that brownish color. And I believe this is one of them. I've had people complain about the color. And then they're just brown. Thank you. See what I did there? Yeah, I don't know if these are going to take. We'll find out. It could just be that the wood is darker. I've had uh, sugar apples that way, where you go to graft them and they're just darker. It just depends on the wood, the wood type and the species. But uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it. We're going to keep an eye. I've got one as a backup already, but I figured it'd be nice to graft some up and sell them. Even though I've sold my big tree, I'd have one last round of selling these things. Well, I could sell them again. It's just going to take me years to get to where I was. That's three I've grafted so far. Let's see about this guy. Oh, this is one I tried to graft years ago. And you see, it's still got the tape on where I failed. And look, you'd never know. It grew right out of it. I cut it down to a stump before. Wrapped it with buddy tape. The graft failed. I tried to graft years before. And it came out looking beautiful. You'd never know. These are wonderful rootstocks. Here, I can do you like this. Now. Okay. First, let's check the scion and see what color the wood is. This one's still got that brown color, but it looks... No, it looks... See, that's bad. See that, that brown, brown, brown. Like the, the actual dead part. That ain't no good. Th this got to be trash. It's got to be.
These are not going to take. I don't think they're going to take. Yeah, see, the cambium has been compromised. And it was just the branch tips that I took from. The tree is fine, but I'm pretty sure these wouldn't have pushed. So let me let me let me clean off this knife. Actually, yeah, let me clean the knife off again. And uh, let that sit for a second. And hope we get one more that's good. I can cut it into I can start budding. I'm gonna have to start to try to bud. Everybody likes bud. Let's see right here. Let that dry for one more second. Let's see what color we got here. Oh, it's just fucking trash. Doesn't look promising, guys. I wasted some buddy tape, didn't I? I'm going to graph this one, maybe. This one may be good. Yeah, this one may be good. We're going to give this, <clears throat> this one a shot. Oh, oh, never mind. I just keep seeing big dead parts. See that brown? That's not good. Oh, yeah. one looks good maybe Let's take a look color looks good still want to cut it with the alcohol on there still gotta let that dry Ugh. I think I, the ones I grafted are probably not gonna take we're not gonna have any of these for sale this year Bubba Fuck it, we'll grab this one anyway. Fuck it, let's go live. Let's do it live. I gotta put that on my playlist for the skate park. I don't think it's gonna take. These are gonna fail. That's my gut feeling, Bubba. My butt feeling, Gubba. Let's take a look at this one, Bubba Gubba. Bub Gum Shrimp is household name. Fudge balls. This looks like shit. No, sir. I don't like it. Just gonna try to graph this one anyway, even though it's dark. We'll give it a shot. It's not gonna take. But let's 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 just do what we gotta do. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna walk over to the greenhouse and take a look at my other tree. I've still got a bunch of rootstocks left, and take some cuttings off of my little tree just to look at that bark and to see what it looks like. Oh, because maybe maybe it does get this kind of color to it. And I've been wasting a bunch of good cuttings, you know? But we, we gave it a shot. They, uh, these were green when I took them. I made sure to scratch and all that. But I'm going to walk over to the greenhouse and take a look at my little tree and see if I can get some clips off it. I'm going to go ahead and clean my instruments off and then take a hike. You know what I'm talking about, baby. I'm kind of pissed because I'm doing graphs and they're not really... I, in my heart, I feel like these are not going to take. You know what I mean? All right. Let's clean off. Zoom, 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 zoom. All I want to do is zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Just shake it. Remember that shit? My uh, cousin, Tyler, comes on here. He's from Cleveland. And his uncle, my uncle, there he is. There, there he is. Yeah. All right. So... 
there's footage of it somewhere, but my dad is twin brother with Tyler's dad, identical twin. And then they have a, another brother, uh, Norman. But one time at the bar, we, they would go, we'd go to these bar mitzvahs. The kids have these bar mitzvahs. And uh, Eric is Tyler's half-brother, my cousin, Michael's son. Yeah, I'll show you actually. Hold on. I got to show Tyler this real quick. I got to go in the house and get something. But anyway, my, my dad and uh, his dad, twin brother, they did uh, all I want to do was zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Just shake your rope. That was the song. And, and like they didn't know the lyrics and they were doing uh, karaoke. And all they did the whole song is like put on glasses and be like, all I want to do was zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. And they just kept doing that the whole time. All right, hold on. I got to go get some. Check it out. I got something special for the show. Tyler. It's cool. Do you remember these? Do you have one of these? You know how much these go for? Huh? Remember these? That's pretty cool. Smells like them. Yeah, I know. I know, I feel bad, but I don't know if I can get rid of it, homie. It's one of my prized possessions in life. I took it, stole it from them. But they gave them to everyone at the party. You would have had to been there. There was fog machines and shit. It was pretty dope. I think I would have been 39 and a half. I don't know how old I was, but I was eight years old. Okay. I just had to show him that. Oh. Sorry about that. Little detour. Oh, it looks like there's a star fruit ready up there. I like them like that. That's how I like them. That's why I eat them. But I'll just let it sit there. Let a bird peck at it. He needs it more than me. He, Rex was limping. He must have sprained his foot. Like doing something. In one of these. My guess is I was throwing the ball for him. And he hit one of these holes. Because his nuts swollen. There's nothing in it. And he's just kind of limping. Yo! Uh oh. I may not be able to do what I was just talking about. I have to take a detour. Well, I got to do it, but. No, I'm going to make some, Bill. I could make them right now. Just a few. Look at that, look at that. I feel I like this. We got a minor issue. What? What? I don't know how the hole got off like this, but that center pole is freaking out of whack, dude. 
Uh, it doesn't matter. What's it? Like two foot that. It's like a foot and a half that way. But if you go over there. And a foot and a half that way. Where you put? You putting wire across it? You gonna put a complete cover top on it? Uh, we'll just run some wires through. I don't think it has to be perfect. Do you know what I mean? Because what they were saying is we could put an X. Yeah, that's fine. Like when whatever. You, when, when you run your perimeter wire on the outside. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can run wire from corner to corner and corner to corner. That should be fine. It doesn't. It doesn't quite on matter. The top. Yeah, we could even just run it from post to post to put like four it ways. Just, it would just go like this. It, if, you, if you ran it down the middle from here to there. Yeah. You just. You see how, what it's There's saying. a low point. That would be just Y'all must have just put it right where my sprinkler was, is what it was. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, but but you're saying... Like right yeah, it should have been right here. Yeah, well, it's not going to hurt nothing. And that would have been perfect. It's not going to make any difference. Right here. Yeah, it won't make any difference. Is it, are these three in line? No, that's what I'm saying. See, it's out of line here a little bit. But only with that one, I think. It goes, this is the one that's out of line with right there. Yeah, but it goes, but stand, then it goes that, stand that way and look this way. Oh, stand I see. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Look back this way. I think the only thing that we need to do is just run cable from, see, it's got four sides on it. Run the cable from there to there, there to there, there to there, there to there. You know what I mean? Even even all five, maybe. And then across, you know what I mean? Right. And then it'll be, there's, I mean, I just need to have, it doesn't. Even if you put it through an eyelet, put the eyelet down, you just you want to in the cable and do like that. Yeah, it doesn't need to be perfect at all, bro. Don't worry about it. No, that's fine. Off by a foot is nothing. No, that's nothing. That's nothing. This is nice. Now I just need to get buy some shade cloth. And some, and some wire. And some wire. That's it. Yeah. And a couple buckles.